I have a very special person to introduce to you. That's why I introduce to you, Adrian Knight. Uh, so this is Dave. Now, Dave is a master of making cheese. Yeah, right. And he's been making cheese ever since he is two and a half months. <laughs> so now he's a very very experienced. He's going to teach you how to make the famous Dutch cheese, especially the smoked cheese. Okay. So May, where's May? Okay, May come. May don't eat cheese one night. Uh, May don't like cheese. Huh? Later, I want you to try the smoked cheese. Okay. All right. Uh, hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome in a cheese farm. Uh, my name is Dave Eule, and I would like to explain to you how you make cheese here in Holland. And after my explanation, you can try different types of cheese in a cheese farm. Now we're making two different types. We're making goat cheese, we're making cheese from cow milk. Uh, in the morning, we start pouring milk in this container. We we'll see it in the mirror. Mirror? Oh, you see the mirror? Oh, yeah, it is. And uh, yeah, we heat it up to 29 degrees. And that's a very important temperature to the rennet. And this is the rennet. Yeah, and the rennet makes it thick. As a pudding. And after 30 <coughs> minutes, if the milk is thick, we cut the milk with three special knives. Let's see over there. So we can separate the curd. Now this is the curd from the whey. And we have 10% curd and 9% whey. So we need 10 liters of milk for one kilogram cheese. Now we put the curds in a cheese form. Well, this is a cheese form of one kilogram. And we put the cheese form under the press. So you can see over there. Yeah, we press the cheese for two hours. <coughs> and at the same time we press also a cheese label on the cheese. And this is the cheese label. Yeah, and on the cheese label is telling a number for the government. So the government can check the cheese. Uh, but also where the cheese is made in Holland. And uh, the fat price station of the cheese. Uh, now after two hours pressing, we put the cheese in this uh, yeah, salt water bag. That's a salt water solution with 10% salt and 80% water. Yeah, and the salt is very important for the cheese because it gives natural rind. Uh, but also the salty taste. Uh, but also very important the preservation. Uh, one kilogram stays there for 24 hours. And then let the cheese dry and put plastic around the cheese. Yeah, and then let the cheese store. And so you can see over there. And the big ones over there. Um, yeah, one month for the young cheese. And six months for the middle old cheese. And one year for the old cheese. But this cheese is two years old. It's, uh, yeah. it's very hard. But you can still eat it. You can cut it with a knife and the inside is softer. But, uh, yeah. It's very hard, you can feel hard. It's feel like a like stove. <coughs> and you can bowl with it and you can bowl with it. Three years is the, most, uh, the oldest we have. Okay. Like, yeah, if, you, if you don't cut the cheese, right, let's say for example you buy this cheese, you don't cut the cheese, you can keep it in the refrigerator for about six months. But once you cut it, right, you have to eat it uh, within a month. Okay. What's the temperature you can keep it? Um, boiling, 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 boiling. Yeah. About four months inside the refrigerator. If you open it, you must put it in the refrigerator. And then you can keep it. Boiling, boiling. Yeah, refrigerator. You can see the difference between the old cheese and the new cheese. That is an old cheese, and this is a new cheese. You see the weight? Can you give me a moment? Now we're making the cheese with different flavors. Now this one is the natural cheese. Now this one is the herbs and garlic. Now this one is the pepper cheese. And this one is the goat cheese. And this is the vinegric. Yeah, vinegric is in seed out India and it tastes like walnuts. And this is the pesto cheese. It's uh, pesto with olives and uh, uh, spinach. It's, it's green cheese. It's a little bit small. And this one is, uh, it looks like a little bit of salami, but it's also cheese. This is smoked cheese. Yeah, inside you can see. Uh, How do we cut the cheese? I'll show you. This is a normal slicer. 
The normal slide, especially only for Virginia, seems to slices like this. Yeah. With your breath. Yeah. And this one is the grater. And the grater is only for making spaghetti or macaroni. But you can also use it for carrots or potatoes. Want to try it? Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, these are the normal cheese. Okay? Okay. This one is for me. <laughs> May, you want to try this one? Okay, yeah, later inside the, the shop we we'll try it, huh? Who wants to try? This is more cheese, is it? Mm, smoked cheese. Ah, let's say I can go inside and try. This is smoked goat cheese. Ah, smoked goat cheese. Mm. Now they have uh, two kinds of uh, um, cheese in here. The cow cheese and the goat cheese. And they also have human milk cheese. That is very expensive. <laughs> now to your uh, Okay. Uh, this was my explanation. Uh, thank you for your attention. Now you can try the cheese. Thank you.